Hey guys, just going to be looking today at this uh, PA amplifier. I've already partly disassembled it. It's a SPL 2000 uh, with a built in MP3 player and I think uh, FM tuner as well, which is a, a pretty handy feature. A uh, number of inputs, uh, including a 3.5mm jack on the front. So that's a pretty versatile uh, little unit. Um, the problem is when you power it up. Just, it just doesn't seem to work. Um, you've got we can hear the fan running, so there's definitely something going on. And the uh, the MP3 player seems to power up. You can see there you can change the change the mode. So it must be related to this control board, I guess. Um, you know, you're not getting a power light or any any feedback here, so. We'll pull it apart and have a have a quick look. So it's pretty pretty nicely set out in here. Um, got a massive transformer, all the bridge rectifier, and uh, power supply is actually on the board with the with the amplifier. There is a control board here at the front, and the MP3 player is a separate board as well. Um, so I might just start. At the power supply section just to see see what's going on there so just taking a closer look this uh, this ribbon cable here it's actually marked with the voltages which is handy there there should be an 8 volt supply on there uh, that seems to head off to the the front panel and the mp3 player board so I think I'll start there just to see if we have um, 8 volt on that point so I think it's these two pins here. Okay, it's a bit hard to get onto that, but it's 8.04, so that, that seems to be okay. Let's check the uh, the output of the transformer. Ninety volt. So that must be the the rails. And Fifteen volt. So I reckon everything is okay in the power supply section um, might just take this logic board off and, and have a closer look so that power feed seems to come in in that corner there um, there must be a connector on the other side and considering there's no no action on that board uh, it, just, it must be some somehow related so I'll take these four screws off, which look a bit rusty actually, but... So I've been poking a bit around with the, uh, with the control board and what I found is um, you've got these voltage rails there, plus and minus 15 volt. Uh, they measured on the power supply okay. Um, with this board unplugged, as soon as you plugged this board in, they would bog down to about about one volt. So I measured the resistance between these pins, and it was about 25 ohm, which is relatively low, which would pull a lot of current. And um, poking around the board, I, I saw this one little resistor here that just didn't look quite right. Looked like maybe it popped open, burnt out. Seems to measure okay. Um, but then this op amp here, I found this op amp was actually causing that uh, resistive short. And what I did was I just isolated this, this pin here, the supply pin. And uh, by doing that, that was enough to take that 
resistive short off the board and uh, for the power supply to come back up. So I can just give a I'll give a quick demo of that. So I've just got that connector plugged in again um, and that pin isolated on the uh, on the op amp. I'll power it up. And you can see we've got power again, so that's the faulty component. Um, let's see if I can order one. Otherwise I'm, I'm sure it's just a generic sort of op amp and we, we might be able to retrofit something else just to get us going. But um, yeah, that's definitely the, the root cause of the, the issue. Uh, what's caused that to, to, to burn out or or pop, I, I don't really know. We'll, um, yeah, we'll do some more poking around in that area of the board, see if there's anything, anything off. Okay, so I've replaced that original part with, with a pretty generic audio op amp. It's an LM833. The, uh, the pinning is, is pretty much compatible. Um, of course, it's just in a different package which uh, means I, I needed to, to run those little little wires up to the top top pins. Uh, also replace that that dodgy looking resistor, replace that with a SMD component on the bottom. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'll power it up and we'll see if uh, if we've got audio on on the right right channel. at Officeworks. Is your unused car costing you money? Rego, insurance? It all adds up. If you'd rather turn your car into... Sellmycar.com.au is the answer. Don't... So there we go. Up and running again. Put it back together and uh, give it back to, the, to its owner. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully there was something in there that might be useful to you in case you have the same issue and uh, yeah we'll see you next time